What is music? For the purposes of this course, at its most basic level, we'll think of music as organized sound. We're going to spend the next few hours talking about the different ways that sound has been organized for the last hundred years. But before we can do that, we need to understand the sound part of the equation. So what is sound? Sound is vibrations in a medium. Musical instruments and other sound generating objects work by creating vibrations in the air. As I'm speaking, my vocal cords are vibrating, which is vibrating the air, and those vibrations propagate outwards to you, where they reach your ear, and that's how you perceive them. The human ear is remarkable. Theoretically, you can hear a one watt, three and a half K tone from a distance of about 300 miles. You can focus your hearing to pick out one conversation in a crowded room or a party, just as you can focus your eyes on a distant object or one that's close up. And unlike your other senses, your ears can't be turned off even for a second unless you jam your fingers in them. So how does the ear work? Sound travels to your ears, is slightly affected by the pinna, or the outer fleshy part of your ear. It goes through the ear canal, or meatus, and then it hits the eardrum, also known as the tympanic membrane. The eardrum vibrates a small bone called the hammer, which vibrates another small bone called the anvil, which is connected to the stirrup, which is another small bone, and the stirrup jiggles something called the oval window. The oval window pushes fluid, which creates a vibration in something called the basilar membrane, in such a way that at particular points, nerves are excited. We don't know exactly what happens here, but one dominant theory holds that specific places on the basilar membrane detect particular frequencies. These nerve signals then go to your brain, which interprets them and provides the sensation of hearing. Like many other brain functions, we don't understand this interpretation particularly well. You only get one pair of ears, and we're not very good at fixing it. If there's one thing to take away from these lessons, it's this. Wear your earplugs. It is possible to permanently damage your hearing after even very short exposures to very loud sounds. We just can't fix ears. Once the little nerve cells on the basilar membrane die, they don't come back. I know far too many of my friends and musicians who can barely perform or even hear music because they've listened to things too loud. If you're going to a place where there's going to be loud music, if you're going to be operating a jackhammer or riding a motorcycle, make sure you're protecting your hearing at all costs because once it's gone, it's never coming back.